Hello everyone, this is Kathleen. Do you sometimes wish for an affordable alternative to expensive art mediums for your junk journal pages? That's what I want to show you today. You know how much I love my Distress inks, but today I want to show you how you can just use inexpensive watercolors and create beautiful pages for your signatures for your junk journals. So I'm working in this junk journal today. It's for a challenge from Dear Julie Julie. I have created the cover with just this uh, recycled cereal box. One of my favorite things to do. So let me show you. I've got some pages here that I've already done and are ready for the signature and we'll put those in in a few minutes. I had this page and I kind of wanted to do something that would you know bring in a little more color and so I've just used this um, this is graph paper out of one of those composition notebooks that you get at Walmart and um, I like using it because the ink um, kind of melts and <laughs> becomes part of the the media that that you're using so I've just used some of the colors of these cheap watercolors and um, and brought in some splatters and some smushing. It's the smushing that I really kind of wanted to show you today. So let me let me do that next. So this this now is going to go here in the signature next to that map page. I think it looks really good. Okay. So this this is also another um, another page in the journal that I've done the same thing. I've done some smushing and and then some splatter with some of the different colors. And then this I'm going to leave kind of like this because um, I may want to decorate that additionally later. So now where did I put my here it is okay. Here is the paper that, that I'm going to show you how to smush. Um, so you've seen me do smushing a number of times. It's like um, it's what I do a lot. Let me show you. Um, we'll do side by side with the distress ink on one side and then the watercolor on the other side. And I think let's just do kind of a, a greenish blue. That. We'll just do both of these colors together. So to smush all you do, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> my allergies are starting now, so I apologize for that. Um, you just put some colors down on the glass, and then you put a little bit of water on, and then I don't like the the um, square edge or line so I always just kind of come and interrupt that some way okay so there's the paint is fixed now and then I just lay that down and pick it up and then I lay it down and pick it up and then you know it can run Whatever, whatever you want to do with it. I'm trying to keep this other one clean to show you the difference. Okay. Sometimes now you have to wait if you want to do another color and let that dry. Because the distress ink reacts with the water, you can't really add anything on top of it without it changing the color underneath. So if you let it dry a little bit, you might get some of that blue. Okay, so now how do you do it as an alternative to the Distress Ink? Let's just use the watercolor. And we'll do that on this side of the page. And I think Let's use, um, 
let's use this dark green again so you just take some on the brush and you smear it onto the glass or the you can use a silicon mat or you know whatever um, waterproof kind of thing that you you got and now I want to add some blue because that is way too green I want it to be kind of turquoise and that's not turquoise yet so let's add some brighter green yeah That's about right. That's about what I want. Okay, we'll see. We'll see how that how that works. Now with um, with watercolor, it's going to be a little. You can see this is kind of a lighter green. So I'm going to just dilute that, spread it out a little. Okay, then we're going to smush, and we'll see how it works. The color is obviously not the same, but, but you can see that the smushing technique is the same. And, and if you're not trying to match the color, obviously, then that, that's great. It gives you the same result. Okay, so there's the two techniques. Obviously, the distress color is different than the watercolor. And that's, that's just because, you know, you're just not going to get the same color. Um, but you can see that the technique works exactly the same. It's similar enough that I don't mind using both. It's certainly more affordable to use cheap watercolors. Okay, so now I'm just going to get a little bit of brown and just put some splatters on there to kind of even, even it up. Okay, so you can see that this is a, really an exceptionally affordable alternative to the Distress Ink. And um, I think it looks good, and I'm happy to use this page in a journal. So it's too um, minty to go into this journal. It's different, different colors that I'm using, so I won't put it in this one, but but it certainly is uh, good enough to go into one of my other journals. So thanks for spending time with me today. And I hope that is gives you some ideas about some things that you can do to pretty up some of the uh, recycled book pages that you use in your journals using just really affordable um, children's watercolors from Walmart or the dollar store, wherever you can access inexpensive art materials. Thanks so much for being with me today. I'm always happy to spend time with you. We'll see you again.